Oh, Chevy. Chevy. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Diesel, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. So now that I'm home, it's time to get out there and work in the yard. We're attempting to transplant a few trees today. Never done this before, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> We've researched as much as we could. We're taking some trees out of our back bush and moving them to the front. Chevy, you need to stay in here. Go, stop trying to sneak past me. Sneaky sneaker, get out of here, go. Stay, you be good in here. Okay, we're trusting you guys while we're outside. Do not wreck anything, okay? <sighs> so, first things first. <laughs> we have these little mounds all over our yard and this one got covered with grass already. So it's impossible for me to mow it, right? Because uh, the mower just gets hung up on it. So I'm gonna level that off, dig a hole in there, and we'll put our first tree in there. Then we'll have a level spot. And I killed two birds with one stone. I, I fixed the, the hump that's here. And we also get a, a tree transplanted here. Huh. It's a lot of work though, but good thing I've been going to the gym regularly for a couple of months. Like I said, you never know when it'll pay off. Well, it's shirtless Wednesday, or is it Thursday today? Shirtless Thursday. I'm trying to avoid getting a, a white t-shirt this summer. My skin tans very, very easily. So as soon as summer hits like this, or spring, my skin starts to turn dark. And by the end of the summer, I, I'm just really, really, really brown. And if I wear a t-shirt all the time, I'm really, really, really brown on my arms and face and neck. Pasty white everywhere else. I'm trying to solve that. I don't exactly have the body to show off right now, but we're getting there, we're getting there. At least I don't, or at least I won't have those crazy tan lines. I don't, they bother me. Maybe they don't bother every guy out there, but when I go to the beach, you know, I get made fun of because I got a white t-shirt. Everyone keeps telling me to take my white t-shirt off before I go in the water. Uh, white life, I guess that's what you'd say. <laughs> well, maybe that's part of that white privilege. I don't know. <laughs> Awkward tan lines. It's annoying. You, why you got your pickup in your backyard, man? You know where your pickup goes. I know, Diesel. It's really weird, eh? So, we want to take some of these trees from our back area here and bring them up front, just to thicken up our front yard a little bit. It's a little too open for me. Like back here, you can see how it's all nicely thick, and this all uh, is gonna turn green this spring yet. Got a lot of deadfall to pull out of there. Lots of work to do. But all of this is ours here, right? And all of that, all the way back there, all of that, like those really big tall pine trees back there, that's, that's still ours, all of that, and all the way back there. You can go down here. And these actually are new trees that started growing just as we moved in like two years ago and look how big they are already. So they grow pretty quickly. There's all these little baby guys here, you see that? So we wanna leave the baby trees around here. I think there's a few back there that we wanna pull out because there's so much back there already that we don't need all that. I, I, we could probably take a few of these too. Like look how close together all of these are. Like they, they're not gonna thrive being that close together. So I'll probably take a couple of those. I mean, we have quite a bit to choose from. And there's some down here yet too. Hey, Dito, hey, Dito. Love running around the yard. <laughs> anyway, we got these little guys in here. Can take a couple of these. These are all a little too close together. So we could take one of these without harming the other ones, hopefully. And then all of this here, this whole area here is a beautiful area. I keep mowing this out because I want to put in like a, a little uh, gazebo or bench or something here. But this all gets nice and thick and you can't, actually can't see through this. This is all budding already. In the summertime, this gets just thick. And then there's the creek right behind there. It goes right past over here. All of this, everything you see, even those trees like way, way back there, that's all ours too. So we have a lot to, 
A lot to go through. Diesel. Where are you going, buddy? I don't want you full of ticks. Come on. It's tick season, buddy. We always have to check our dogs every day. Make sure that they don't get any ticks. Because two people I know that I'm related to actually have gotten Lyme disease in the past several years, few years, and it's definitely not fun. Definitely not fun, so we have to be very careful. I'll take a few of these over here. And over there. Let's see what we can do. So we've picked one. This guy right here is coming to the front. I've already dug them all out of there. You can see here I got it pissed up on this. See? He's all loose. So we're going to take that to the front and put that in the hole I dug up there. And hopefully it takes. I'll put some fresh topsoil underneath and some good uh, cow manure fertilizer. It's not literal cow manure, but it's, uh, here I'll show you here. It's just this stuff. Composted cattle manure. So we got one bag of this and we got three bags of just topsoil. We weren't quite sure how much we would need because we've never done this before. So I guess we'll see how much we use with one tree. I dug the hole in the front just big enough to put that in and a little bit deeper because I want to put the topsoil and the, the composted cattle manure, like I said, underneath there so that it has something to soak in the water and then the roots can dig into that and hopefully that'll give it a, a good start. All right, so I got the pickup backed up right to it. That's the one diesel, you like it? That's gonna go in the front yard. Our first tree that we're transplanting. You wanna go up there? Yeah? Oh, good boy, of course you, look at you, old man. You still got it. You still got those springs. Oh boy, he's gonna be eight years old this August. Eight years old, yikes. For those of you who are new to the vlog, I got him when he was 10 weeks old. It's my boy, I've had him longer than I've had my wife. You gonna help me lift it in here or what? No. Well, then you better stay out of the way, man. Never done this before. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, this might be a little more difficult than I thought. Gotta make sure that it's totally loose. Diesel, you're standing right in the way of the people. The people can't see what I'm doing, buddy. Yeah, can you get down? Camera hog. Okay, so I got it here. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. May not be the best one, but we did get all the roots. I did get deep enough. Double checking. Yeah, just cover that back up there. Right there, right there. Okay. Look at you. Look at you, little buddy. Look at you. You're going for a ride. Does he want to ride in the back? No, no, you can't get up here, man. There's no room for you right now. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you want to ride back there? Go on. You guard the tree, okay? Don't pee on it. That's a good tree. Not for peeing. There's this other tree that came along with it. This, I'm not actually replanting this. I'm just replanting this guy. Okay, let's go. Don't leave this here. It's gonna tip. Good boy, Diesel. Did you guard the tree good? Did you guard the tree? <laughs> Come on down. Come on down. Don't fall in the hole. Yeah, that's where the tree's gonna go. Right there. <laughs> Perfect. That actually... That's a good size hole. Actually fit pretty good. Let's fill in the rest with a little bit of soil. So we put some topsoil and compost composted manure in there already at the bottom put some of this soil in around it and hope she goes <coughs> here's our collection from down by the creek 
We have four, I think. Four or five? No, five at least. Because one of them's a northern pine, we think. So these are all going to be planted up here. So we've already got uh, this guy here, a little northern pine. You can hardly see him. <laughs> we got another, another little baby over there that we planted. So we'll have 12 in total, right, that we transplanted today? 14. 14. And I know it looks like Britt's doing all the work in my vlog because... Because <laughs> you're holding the camera when you're vlogging. No, no, I've but, done a minimal amount of trees compared to him. <laughs> you can tell because I'm out of breath. Giving them all a little bit of water right now. We're done for the day. How much did we do? 12? 14. 14. Ten so up front here and then four over there. So we got this guy here. Got a nice little line here. Three, four, and five. And we got this guy over here. This guy here. This guy here. And this little guy over here. Blue. This guy's name is Blue. He was the first one that we transplanted. We just named the first two. There's Blue here and there's Scraggles over here. This here is Scraggles. He was the first. I believe he's a northern pine. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But northern pine there and blue is the blue spruce that we planted over there. And then got another couple here. This guy here. That guy there. And this guy here. And one more all the way back in here. Now these trees are our favorite. These are what we did the most of. I'll show you what they look like full grown. So all those trees back there. Northern Pines, that's what Scraggles will look like full grown. This guy right in front of us here, this is a blue spruce, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but that is the tree that we transplanted back there the most of. These are our favorites. This one's struggling a little bit here. Uh, it was a little dry the last couple of years. So hopefully it'll make a comeback, but that's what we'd like more of instead of like, you know, those ugly things. So when you're looking at the front yard like this, that's where we planted them all. Planted a bunch right in there, right in front of the pickup. I got my pickup in the bush there. Planted them on this side of the pickup. And those other ones are right back there. Just to sort of fill in the front yard, we're gonna slowly start filling in that place. Cause that whole space there, that's all a garden. I've just been mowing it down as lawn right now, but it's all a garden and it's a little bit too big. We wanna thicken that up there. And we're gonna plant some more trees up in front here too, just to bring the, the bush a little closer to the house. Cause we have a, a really big front yard here. And we don't need such a big front yard. I'd rather have more bush. I'd, uh, I'd like it to be thicker. So we'll see what happens. I don't know how long these guys take to grow this big, but one day they'll be that big. If they survive. If they survive, that's the biggest thing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. They start off like this and they get so massive. This guy's already probably a few years old. Just brought him from the back out to the front. It's amazing what nature can do. Let's hope they all take. Let's hope it's all successful and none of them die. To be honest with you guys, that was one of the most fun days I've had in a long time. It was really cool to do something with Brit. I didn't really film a lot of the day because it was a lot of work and uh, I couldn't always set up the camera and that's part of the consequences of vlogging and filming yourself and not having a film crew to film for you. I do everything myself from start to finish, but Brit is also releasing a video. Probably it's probably released already about the same day from her from her perspective, perspective, per 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 perspective. Go and check it out on her channel. The link to her channel is down below in the description of all of my videos. Go subscribe to her channel as well. Uh you get it from her perspective that way and uh, she may have caught a lot of moments that I missed and uh, this was a day where her and I spent the whole day together just working on the yard working outside having fun laughing joking around and you know it's probably a day I'm gonna remember forever I've never done this before I've never transplanted trees from one part of my yard to the other or a, I've never had this experience before and it was really cool to share it with her and uh like i said it, it was a lot of fun 
Like, I'm just editing this in the future. I'm on the road already again, but uh, I really hope you did enjoy it because I sure did. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys who aren't subscribed already, if you subscribe, I know that you guys might like my trucking content more than my other content, but I have to reiterate every now and then that this is not a trucking channel. Don't come to my channel expecting trucking all the time. Okay, this is a daily vlog of my life. I happen to be on the road a lot, so if you like that kind of stuff, you're gonna get a lot of that here. But there's a lot more to being a truck driver than just being in the truck all the time. A lot, a lot of my longtime viewers who have been watching me for like seven plus years, you guys know this. But for the new people, this video or this, this channel or these videos, include my whole life so if you want to know what it's like to be a truck driver from my perspective it's different for every driver from my perspective you can subscribe to my channel here and watch my life daily here and see what it's like being on the road delivering freight but also what it's like when i come home and what do i do on my off time what, what do i do to have fun when i'm not working when i'm not delivering freight uh, it's i try to keep the variety there i i, I try to take you along the journey of my life like you know my wife and I are trying to have a baby right now we're doing everything we can to uh, get her pregnant and once that happens you know this will still be a trucking channel but I'm never gonna call it a trucking channel because I've, I've still got to work I've still got to pay the bills I've still got to get out there and uh, I'm, I'm a normal person <laughs> I'm a normal person I've got to go out there and make that dough so that I can put bread on the table for my family and once we have a child there will be a lot more added to this channel yet there will be a whole new experience added a baby we're so excited to be parents and we want it so badly and you know we've done everything right thus far and we're just waiting for God and in his time It'll happen. So uh, once that happens, this channel will have a lot more baby stuff on it when I'm at home. And I hope you guys like that too. Because it's part of who I am. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I really do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I keep bugging you to subscribe. I'm going to keep doing that in every video. It, it, it does a lot for me. Uh, if you like the video too, helps me with the YouTube algorithms just to get the word out there about my channel. And if you like the videos, you know, chances are maybe some of your friends might like it too. Maybe some of your family even. You know, if you share it on your social media, like your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever you like to use, share the word of Trucker Josh out there. Get Trucker Josh out in people's faces and encourage them to watch and subscribe as well. And we'll keep growing this channel together. And I have no plans on quitting. Brit's channel as well, it's called Brit's Beat. She has no plan on quitting that either. We will we'll probably, as long as YouTube is around, we'll be doing this for the rest of our lives. At least I plan on doing it for the rest of my life. And you know, if YouTube shuts down one day, I'll move to another platform like BitChute or something and we'll all make the leap over there. But for now, YouTube is our home and this is where we'll be. This is where you can find us. Thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Like I said, it was a really fun day. Glad you were there with us. I'll talk to you again soon. See you tomorrow.